Hey guys, Mitty here. Black Desert Mobile is a great game because of great classes variety. And we have already 12 classes and 10 of them having 2 forms, meaning a total of 22 classes, out of possible 29, counting Ascension and Awakening forms that are currently available on Korea. Every class is unique, playstyle, weapons, skills and power. And when it comes to power, our community is looking for the most powerful class of them all. Who is the best? This video will be a double update to my personal top classes list, with added Hadoom kills per minute, refreshed Elion kills per minute, and with added recently released classes Tamer, Musa and Maeva. If this is the first time on this channel, make sure to subscribe and check the last top list update, and the 4 bladers review as in this video I will just rank the classes and add some small commentaries. First let's begin with the arena pvp ranking. This includes solely normal arena and ranked 1. Even though ranked is bound mostly on CP and in normal arena you can easily win the best class with the worst one if you have more skill, still some classes excel in some subcategories more than others and have more advantages over others. Also, since there are 5 subcategories, ranking will be divided in 5 places, meaning that multiple classes can land on same place with same points. Landing in 5th place, Titan, Lancer, Lupa and Warlord. All of them 1 point for good combo damage and only. In 4th place landed 2 classes, Windwalker and Spiritwalker. Both having grab that doesn't really help them to reach higher spots. 3rd place and average score with most of classes, all of them having 3 points in different subcategories. In 2nd place landed almost the best PvP classes, with total of 4 points in different subcategories, and most of them excelling so much in some subcategories that gained 2 points instead of 1, just because it's their strong side. And at last the so-called overpowered or cheat classes, Raven, Huntress and Archmage. While Raven being new and the hardest one to play, she still deserves the top spot. Huntress was always in there and is one of the classes that can deal with Archmages and at last actual Archmages that need no comments. And we are done with the arena pvp ranking. Let's jump now to mass pvp rankings for field pvp, which includes guild wars, nodes, sieges and ramones. Same rules applied, just with slightly different categories. Another 4 classes in lowest tier, Gladiator, Paladin, Windwalker and Lancer. Classes that will feel the most underpowered for mass pvp. Even though Paladin and Gladiator are good picks for Ramones, in mass pvp they will have very hard time surviving. 4th place goes to Void Knight, Destroyer, Spiritwalker, Blademaster, Warlord, Sakura and Primrose. Not like they are very bad, but higher spots are just better. 3rd place and average score are given to Reaper, Huntress, Berserker, Raven, Striker, Titan and Lupa, still being a solid pick and some of them being very good for Ramones, also Raven maybe deserves a higher spot, but still not sure about. Silver medal goes to Invoker and Hashashin, with some more damage Invoker will be able to achieve a gold medal, but sadly it's not enough while Hashashin, even though lacks in ranged skills, deals massive damage in PvP, destroying everyone's health bars. At last gold medal and maximum score goes to Phantasma, just because she has everything needed for field PvP and of course Archmage, with her ridiculous survivability and great damage output if handled right. Done with PvP categories, I will follow now with the 3 PvE ones, Elion kills per minute, DPS and the newcomer Hadzoom kills per minute. Note that some scores might differ from yours, just because I didn't have time to test all the possible spots with all possible builds. For alien kills per minute I've chosen the good old Helms map, good spot with many mobs in it. Same for Hadzoom, I used medium packed yet big spot, that allowed me to understand how good is the overall performance of any class is in average. In both farming scenarios leading of course Archmage with her overpowered blizzard skill that clears any type of spot with no stress at all, and DPS was destroyed by Lupa 
with her ability to cast one of the highest damage skills instantly. Regrouping all the scores, we received a following top list table for all classes. Leading, of course, Archmage, followed by Phantasma, Huntress, Hashashin and Raven, the top 5 meta classes for global so far. And that was it for the long-awaited top classes list for global version. Hope some classes scores didn't disappoint you and you will continue playing on them even if they are not in top meta. At last I would like to say it doesn't matter whether your class is first or last in the list. If you really like the class, its gameplay, mechanics and style, just play it, make the game enjoyable for you. Otherwise just check the top list and choose the strongest one. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. That was Mitty, have a nice day.